Hello, Deployment Insiders, and welcome back to another episode here in Building 36, home of the office engineering team at the Microsoft headquarters here in Redmond, Washington, where each week we'll bring you new tips, tricks, and best practices to make your office deployments easier. My name is Amesh Monsakani, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to convert a 32-bit version of Office 365 Pro Plus to 64-bit. So let's get started. Before I jump into how to make this happen, let's quickly talk about why someone would decide to update their device to 64-bit version of Office. The typical fact that you will continuously hear is that with 64-bit systems, you can confidently take advantage of devices that have greater than four gigs of RAM. So what does this really mean? In this day and age, new sets of data is being created at an unprecedented rate. And that data is being used by millions of information workers to come up with new solutions and insights that will help them and their businesses thrive. And in order to achieve these results, we need powerful and efficient devices. Now, most organizations that are purchasing new devices for folks who are heavy Excel, PowerPoint, Visio, and even project users seem to be taking advantage of this because of the complexity and volume of data that is being ported into these applications. For example, an Excel user can quickly take advantage of complex calculation, many pivot tables, data connections to external databases, Power Pivot, 3D Map, Power View, Get and Transform. Do I need to say more? Having a 64-bit version of Office can help make all of these features execute much more efficiently than if it was running on a 32-bit version. Now, some of you might say that 64-bit versions of Office is all because of the Excel users. Well, let's not forget about those who are using PowerPoint. More and more presentations are being created with high resolution pictures and embedded videos to help deliver better stories. This is where a 64-bit version of PowerPoint can really be useful. And why stop there? Access, Project, Visio, even add-ins are taking advantage of the higher memory access. And our team here in Building 36 are continuously building new features and capabilities for productivity to be much, much easier. To convert from a 32-bit version of Office to 64-bit, we now provide you with a new option called Migrate Architecture. The good news is that with this new capability, you don't have to account for all the installed products, languages, or other deployment settings for you to make this change. You simply run the Office deployment tool against the four lines of XML that you see here and let the install just take over. Now for this demonstration, I'm gonna keep it simple. I've installed Office 365 Pro Plus with all the built-in applications except for Publisher, sorry Publisher fans, and I've also installed several languages you can see I have English, Spanish, and French available to me here. Now you can see I have launched Word, and if I go into my accounts and click on About Word, you can see I have the 32-bit version installed. Now to perform the conversion, I'm gonna go ahead and type in setup.xe, which is my office deployment tool. I'm gonna to do a slash configure and type in go to 64.xml, which is the actual XML file that I'm gonna be using to convert this. I'm gonna go ahead and click on enter and then go ahead and watch this. Now I'm gonna speed this part up so you can just see exactly what's going on in fast motion. We are uninstalling Office right now. We're ensuring that we're capturing all the settings that we just talked about, all the languages, uh, exactly where your update paths are, and so on, so we can ensure that we're gonna bring that right back down for you to be able to use here. Now there's some minimal requirements that you'll need to be aware about, which I'll link below. First, you're gonna need the release of 1902 of Office 365 Pro Plus installed on the device that you're targeting. Second, you're gonna need the latest version of the Office deployment tool. Finally, you're gonna need access to the 64-bit equivalent source file. This includes all of the language packs and proofing tools that you're planning on converting, so don't forget these. And there you have it. Now let's take a look at my new install. I'm gonna go directly into my account and about Word, and you can see I already have the 64-bit version available here. Okay, now let's go and look at what we have actually installed for languages. And you can see I still have my English, Spanish, and French languages available directly in here. 
Now, something to keep in mind, we can't convert your add-in, so make sure to get the 64-bit equivalent and have that installed after Office. I hope you enjoy this new capability and take advantage of it. So to learn more, head over to our official documentation for the best way to get started. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification icon to know when new releases of videos are available. Also, if you have any topics that you wanna hear about on this channel or have any features that you'd like for us to build, head over to our brand new user voice site. Until next time, keep on deploying.